So over here we have a microwave, and as we know, microwaves cook food, and they cook them from in internal sections out. And so the, the heat and radiation in there will virtually kill anything. This isn't predominantly where the cockroaches will live. They'll actually live in the electronic component and in the underside of the, of the microwave. There's also many gaps which lead directly into the microwave and these are the areas where the radiation doesn't really permeate, the heat doesn't really get through, but it's a great incubator for cockroaches to, to lay eggs, to live and breed uh, while, while you're doing your cooking and, and, and live alongside you. The bottom can either be removed or we can give it a tap, remove any uh, faecal matter or cockroaches that may be around and just vacuum clean them up. That's when you then call a professional to come in and use a gel or a pheromone trap to eliminate them from these areas as well. Once they're established inside there, it's very difficult to, to get them out. Another common appliance that we have in the kitchen is a blender. Now this blender here is not an electron electronic blender. Uh, whilst electric, there's no real electronic components except for maybe deep inside the, the motor itself. And there are a couple areas here where the cockroaches can live. If we take the blender apart itself, inside here we have screw holes, we have gaps uh, underneath the uh, mechanism that, that turns the blender, and these areas here all provide heat and warmth where cockroaches can live. And then from the other side, if we tip it back over again, we then have these other vents which provide direct access into a motor. Now, if this blender is always on, so while it's off at the main switch, there is always a current flowing through to the, the blender. This will provide warmth in the circuit board, and this is where cockroaches tend to, again, live and breed.